Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a trying all Jaclyn Hill's ride or die makeup. This was a huge tag that Jaclyn Hill started on YouTube like a year, a year and a half ago. I think I saw she did it in August 2016, but all her makeup still huge, relevant, popular makeup. One of my subscribers actually pitched this idea to me and I thought it would be really fun just using all Jaclyn Hill's ride or die makeup because I have like everything she mentioned minus two items. I'll point that out as I go along but I think this will be a really fun tutorial just using like all her favorite makeup and just seeing how it applies on me and just you know my opinion of it but <laughs> so yeah this will just be a tutorial using all of Jaclyn Hill's ride or die makeup so let's get started. My ride or die, no matter what, I know that this primer is going to do exactly what I'm looking for. That is the Becca, I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. This is the second, no, I think this is the third bottle. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the third bottle. But it is super hydrating and moisturizing, and when you apply foundation over top of it, it just makes your skin look dewy and healthy. Okay, I chose the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation. This to me is the best foundation ever. I you know what? I don't think I've ever used this stick. This will be interesting. This used to be all the rage back in the day. This never fails me. Now it's weird because this foundation hasn't even been out for that long. It hasn't even been out for a year, I don't think. And I'm already making this my ride or die number one foundation in the whole world. Like if I was on a desert island and I could only bring one, it would be this it's guy. It's definitely right very here. creamy and silky and blends right out. Good coverage. I don't know. I, doesn't this thing have mixed reviews? Like people think it's too oily and it's not the most matte. I swear it's like, it's just my perfect foundation. I don't know, I've honestly never really put this foundation to the test, so this will be today. And then for concealer, we have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is just my I'm pretty sure the Tarte Shape Tape has replaced ever. this for her. It's just such a beautiful coverage. It's not too drying, it's not too dewy, it's right in between. It's not it's as not thick too, like, and not as voice. creamy but as it's just perfect. that It blends out shape so tape. Easy, like I've been playing with a lot of different concealers recently, and I've noticed some concealers I absolutely out. love once I apply them, but they're so difficult to get them to apply because you have to go over it like a million times because it just doesn't want to blend out. This one blends out just so blend simple. It out. It's just like the all around perfect concealer. I absolutely love it. It's a medium to full coverage. I just like to pat it out. I feel like that's not as harsh under the eye area, so I just gently pat rather than wipe. I want to be as gentle as you can with that under eye area so that you're not causing more wrinkles. That skin is just so thin and delicate under your eye area, so you truly want to be as light-handed as you can. And then for her under eye setting powder, she had the RCMA powder, and I don't have that. Surprisingly, I've never tried that yet, so let me know if you've tried it and if you think I should get it. And then she had the Giorgio Armani Luminous a silk compact this pressed powder so I'm going to take this is the Mac 135 brush which I got based off her recommendation so I'm pretty sure this is a ride or die brush for her set the entire face we're gonna go in with our ride or die face powder this one was very hard for me because I went between two back and forth back and forth back and forth seriously it's like this is the most first world problems of all time the fact that I'm sitting there like oh god what face powder do I choose like ugh. Gio Armani luminous silk powder foundation definitely is a silky powder I still see some dryness right here just because my skin's so dry right now Eek. Then for bronzer, she said the MAC Care Blend Bronzer. This is in the color dark. The Studio Care Blend Pressed Bronzer by MAC. I'll use this. I hardly ever use this. I feel like this is dried out. My ride or die bronzer. I actually chose the MAC Cosmetics Studio Care Blend Pressed Powder. Which is kind of weird because this is not even technically a bronzer, but I have used it as a bronzer for years, ever since MAC came out with this powder when I was working there. And it's my ride or die. I don't use it that often, but if I have to just grab something and it's one thing and I know how it's gonna work and I, I know the results I'm looking for, it is the Studio Care Blend Press Powder. I was like, mm, I didn't have to think about it. Hands down, it is MAC Melba. Oh my gosh, it is my favorite blush ever. It is a matte blush. I'm looking at it in the mirror. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's like a pale, kind of warm, corally, pinky, peachy kind of blush. It is just so pretty. It's not too light, it's not too dark. When I worked at MAC, this is the blush that I would use on like everyone. MAC has great pigmentation in their blushes. It's just beautiful. Like it's one of those blushes you can put on with any look basically and it's gonna work. It's just gorgeous. It's my number one. Okay, so now for my 
ride or die highlight. You guys obviously know what highlight I'm gonna pick. It would be weird if I didn't pick Champagne Pop, hello. This is hands down my ride or die, and I don't just say that because of the fact that I was responsible for the shade of Champagne Pop. I say that because I loved highlighters, but Champagne Pop was something that I got to envision, and I got to create, and I got to see come to life, and I got to make my favorite highlighter. You know what I'm saying? Like I went through so many samples until I got to this one right here, and I was like, this is it. This is the highlighter that I've always wanted. I had never seen a highlighter that had this peachy champagne undertone that I was searching for, and that is why it's my ride or die. I love it so much. It never fails me. I will go through all different highlights, but I always, always, always go back to Champagne Pop. Okay. Just and then for setting spray, she said the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. It's a classic in my mind. Chill makeup setting spray. I love this because it's cooling, it's hydrating. I love this because of the fact that I am dry, so I'm not looking for something to hold a combat oil. You know, oh, you know she didn't mention a brow. Oh well, I don't have a brow product down here. I'll have to do that in a minute. So for eyes, she said the Morphe 350. And it is the Morphe 350 which I actually gave mine away. I'm not the biggest Morphe fan. So I'm just gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette by Morphe. I imagine this is her ride or die. I imagine it's replaced it. First I'm going to highlight the inner eye with these colors. I always like highlighting first. I just find that my colors don't get like saturated. You know, I'm not doing it over any dark colors at me. Get in there once I start dipping into darker colors. And now I'm going to just go in with this light color and start carving out my eyeball. I'm gonna try to use some colors that are her signature, but I'm just gonna make this as simple as I can. I don't want anything too crazy. Let's see, I'm just gonna now blend those two together. Do, 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 do. I like bringing whatever's left over under the eye. It just evens out all that you got going on, on top. Now I'm gonna dibble into this yellowy chickpea color. This will just help brighten any following colors. I'll be honest, I basically do not use these three rows. <laughs> I just use these four right here, except this one. I've used this one several times, but other than Let's that, see. I don't What's even use these. Like this, this one here is my palette. I don't know in this the name section. of these. But I, I go like, back to these constantly on a daily basis when I do my makeup. I grab this out of my drawer constantly. I use this creamsicle color right here, this orangey color, this ready one. This like kind of reminds me of Max Swiss chocolate. This is just my ride or die palette if I can only choose one because honestly, I just love warm shadows more than anything else. Like that's all I'm asking for. If I was not on YouTube and I didn't have to change it up for makeup tutorials, I would be the girl that every single day had on a warm smoky eye. That's just how I would do things and I think that it's pretty obvious. Okay, and now I'm going to go into this, this really pretty color and I'm gonna spray it with some MAC Fix Plus just to really enhance it. Apply it onto my lid. Hmm. I feel like these colors are not that pigmented today. Hmm. All right, good enough. <laughs> but still think that's pretty. She said her favorite lashes were the Slayla lashes and the um Flutter Slayla lashes. Oh, oh they say? look like this. So they are the drama wispies or the whispers the whispy, by Velour. Sweet, which I have neither, by so Velour I'm just going to apply my favorite lashes, which are the Ardell Demi Wispies. They're really light. I personally don't like a very heavy lash. So I'm just gonna apply these and then she had the L'Oreal Carbon Black Mascara. So I'll just fill in my lashes and apply my lower lashes with that. She didn't mention an eyeliner, so I won't do eyeliner. Is that everything? I feel like this has just been flying by. Yeah, I guess there's not much to it. I just wanted to do a makeup tutorial with all her favorite makeup. So I think this is a fun little idea. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Got the lashes on. And mascara. Now that what's left? Lips. I think we're done. Oh my goodness, it's snowing. I am sick of the snow, let me tell you. It is March. The snow has got to go. So her favorite, she had three lip products. She had the Tom Ford Blush Nude, which is what I'm using. Then she had the Marc Jacobs Enamored High Shine Lip Lacour in the color Sugar Sugar. And then she had the uh, Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in the color Lolita. I have all those, but I'm just gonna stick with the nude. I don't feel like playing Lolita today. So I'm just going to apply the Blush Nude and the Sugar Sugar. 
hands down, ride or die nude lipstick is Blush Nude by Tom Ford. It's just mm, perfection. I always know what I'm gonna get. It is the perfect nude. It's creamy. She's it's definitely on something then, with like, this because this is the, the prettiest nude it's I've amazing. ever applied in my it's life. Pink, this is my ride or die and this gloss is a for life. Fabulous this is the Marc Jacobs gloss Sugar well. Sugar Lip Gloss. It is just the most beautiful. What a it delicious is, mint taste, my must say. It was smell like so good. It's like the most perfect minty fresh scent. If you're looking for an afternoon treat, just put this on. You don't need food. Mwah. Look how pretty that is. Alrighty, well, this completes this makeup tutorial. Let me know what you thought. If you like this, if you want me to do anyone else's products, Jaclyn Hills, I had pretty much everything except the RCMA powder and I got rid of that Morphe palette, the 350, but I think it's okay that I compromise with her palette, you know, because I'm sure that's her ride or die now. I think she's on to something with all these ride or die makeup products. I've never used all of them at one time in one tutorial, so I'm very pleased with the result. I think my skin looks very healthy. Curious how this foundation will last throughout the day. Even though I have it, I've never used that foundation so i'm definitely curious to see how it plays out a lot of people say they have a problem with it getting too oily on them but i have dry skin so we'll see we'll see it doesn't look too oily now i think my skin looks very healthy i like the gleam we got going on over there i like the eyes love the lip just very feminine very pretty and delicate so this was really fun thank you guys for watching and i hope i did an okay job <laughs> i appreciate your support and i hope to see you in my next video so stay tuned Mwah. farewell